Kleptocracy, fully informed jury amendment, fully informed jury association. What the heck are fully informed juries and how do we spell fool? Fully informed juries are part of the fundamental nature of a free people where we created the government to protect our rights and we the people sit on a jury in judgment of our peers and the laws that our peers are to be judged by. The legitimate function of our government is to protect our rights, to protect our property. And it's an important constraint upon the government that we, the people, are the final arbiter in the laws. Otherwise, you get in a situation where the legislature and the executive and the judiciary, they all get together and say, we're the sacred ones and we'll tell you what the law is about. <clears throat> and they kind of forget the fundamental basis that we, the people, created the government. The government did not create we, the people. You know, if you forget that, you're in deep, dark doo-doo. So, there's legitimate functions of the government. And when there's bad guys or potentially bad guys caught, they should be dragged in front of the court, in front of the jury. You know, they're like unwilling, unable, whatever, to make whole the victims of their actions, whether they're intentional or unintentional, or, prop or property disputes, contract disputes. And the people won't solve them. Then these are legitimate functions for the government to do. At some point in time, you're going to have to trust your neighbors to say, you know, this person here is, looks like they killed that person, and they should be put away. Or the law is like, well, this person was caught drinking beer, and well, we put them away for drinking beer, and you know, that's a dumb law. If they weren't hurting anybody, they're minding their own business, they did not endanger anybody, they did not drive in a situation which put them and other people, they stayed at home or they stayed at a restaurant or what? None of your damn business. And we the people, through the juries, got rid of prohibition. 18 of the men that put it in place, the juries kept saying, nah, we don't care, he's out of here. And the government followed the people Earlier, that was 1930s, when we threw out the prohibition, had they followed the people early in, like, say, the 1840s, 1850s, 18, well, too late by the 1860s, where the people were saying, no, we don't care about your damn slavery stuff. They are free people. And the government kept saying, no, screw you, juries. We got Dred Scott. He's this guy's property. When the government decides that it's more important than the people and makes these rules to protect, which people decide which people are whose property? As instead of respecting the rights of all people, we get into deep, dark crap. 620, 640,000 deaths in the Civil War might have a result of some of the consequences of not following the instructions of the people saying, yeah, he escaped from the South and let him go. Instead of making more laws and even having the Supreme Court say, yeah, Dred Scott was property. Bad idea. So, it is our legal and moral responsibility to judge not just the facts of the case, but the law itself. So, good laws against rapists and muggers and thieves and murderers and things like this, you won't have any problem having your neighbor say, yeah, we don't like those kind of people running about doing this without any kind of constraints. Maybe they should be locked up and thrown away because what they're doing is bad. We have to judge the laws. You don't punish somebody to death because... They had a parking violation. The Eighth Amendment. Yeah, it's unreasonable. So you're going to have to trust us. We don't have to trust the government. We, the people, have the rights. The government has the privileges. Fully informed in juries. When the government does not tell us that we have the rights to judge the facts and the law, they are stealing our freedom. This uh, legal monopoly, lawyers guild. No, we have to. No, the, the Constitution points out that you have a right to counsel. It doesn't mean bar approved counsel. Just right to counsel. So, 
there's a difference. You may be taking a risk if you get somebody who's not bar proof, but the way they've rigged the game that you cannot go into a court if unless you're represented by one of the lawyers guild and the lawyers guilds are officers of the court and they've made this whole little thing that like uses the color law and says oh yeah it's all legal but if you guys went off on your own and said screw you um <laughs> you know we can use what you set up but you are a, a lawyer guild you don't have any more authority than any other group who sets up and gets a voluntary arrangement amongst people be interesting very interesting um anyhow fully informed juries protecting our rights our freedoms because we the people are the ones who judge the laws if the, the current situation is a good example the republicans and democrats they've rigged the ballot box so it's very difficult to run against them they use taxpayer monies to keep themselves in power you see these guys showing up with these big celebrity checks oh look representative joe blow gave you fifty thousand dollars that's a lie representative joe blow gave the taxpayers back some of their money and he pretended like he'd done it they buy the game, they nominate support judges, they also have the executives. So when the political parties have woven themselves into this little um, thing of controlling the executive, legislative, and judicial branches, then and we don't realize that it's our chance to control this. Because we the people actually have control over the law. If they take the courts away from us because of our ignorance, shame on us. You, as a juror, have the right to judge the facts and the law. Don't ever, ever forget it. Don't let some lawyer in a bat suit, a judge, tell you differently. At the end of a trial, if you're on a jury, the judge will give you instructions that uh, he's to help you, without, help you with any interpretations of the law. And that is correct. And if you have any questions for clarification of the points of the law, he will give them to you. Uh, I don't know why they don't give it in writing. It would be a hell of a lot easier. But what they used to tell you is you also got to judge the, f the law itself. And they don't tell us that anymore, but we still can. And if you don't think, you don't believe me, you think I'm full of crap, what you can do is write down a little note and say, give it to your jury foreman and say, hey, Mr. Judge, um, what if we do decide that the guy broke the law. Let's say the law was uh, you weren't allowed to be at this place drinking this kind of stuff. But he wasn't driving anywhere. He wasn't endangering anybody. He just a week too young or something like that. And um, we actually don't think that that law should be applied to him. I mean, the guy's 21. He could have, you know, at 18, they're allowed to go and die for the country, but they can't drink it. It's kind of nuts. And actually, we in the jury think that if the guy is okay to die in the country, it's okay that he can drink in it too. We're going to trust him with millions of dollars of military equipment. We might as well trust him with a bottle of beer. Um, and actually, you know, Judge, yeah, he done it and we don't give a shit. Not guilty. What are you going to do to us? And the judge, all he can do is throw up his hands and say, go. That's proof that we the people run the show. But if we don't know that, we lose it by our ignorance. Shame on us. Fully informed juries, protect your rights. Do not let the entrenched incumbency steal our rights through our own ignorance. Protect yourself from the kleptocracy by, by knowledge.